Hey everyone, Software Guy here with a new video. Today, we've got a simple tutorial for something that frustrates a lot of PC gamers, micro stutters, random FPS drops, and that laggy feeling when your game just doesn't run as smoothly as it should, even if your hardware looks solid on paper. You might be playing a game that runs great most of the time but then the frames suddenly dip or stutter, for no obvious reason. Or maybe your system never quite feels as responsive as you'd expect from your CPU and GPU. The good news? There are a few things you can try, from quick fixes to more involved changes, that might help smooth things out and improve overall performance. Whether you're on Windows 10 or 11, and no matter what GPU you're using, this tutorial will walk you through some tips that could actually make a difference. Let's get started and make your games feel a whole lot better to play. Fix 1. Optimize your page file. Your page file, also known as virtual memory, acts like RAM when your physical memory fills up. By default, Windows manages this automatically, but setting it manually can offer better consistency, especially if you're running low on RAM. Right-click on this PC and select Properties. Click on Advanced System Settings below. In the System Properties window, under the Performance section, click Settings. Navigate to the Advanced tab, then click Change under Virtual Memory. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Select the drive where you want to place your page file, preferably an SSD. Click on Custom Size and then do the following math. If you have 4 GB RAM, multiply by 2 equals 8192 MB. For 8 GB RAM, multiply by 2 equals 16384 MB. For 16 GB RAM, Multiply by 2 equals 32,768 megabytes. Put the same number for both initial size and maximum size. Click OK, apply, and restart your PC. Congrats, you did it right. Fix 2. Turn on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This is a feature built into Windows that can help improve performance by letting your graphics card handle more of the workload directly, rather than relying on the CPU to do everything behind the scenes. Here's how to turn it on. Right-click anywhere on your desktop and choose Display Settings. Scroll down and click on Graphics Settings. You'll see an option for Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Go ahead and toggle it on in. Once that's done, restart your PC to apply the changes. So what does this actually do? Well, by enabling this setting, your system allows the GPU to manage its own memory and command processing a bit more efficiently. This reduces the amount of back and forth with the CPU, which can help cut down on latency and smooth out frame delivery, especially helpful if your CPU tends to be the bottleneck in your system. It's not a guaranteed FPS booster, but in a lot of cases it can help reduce stutters or improve frame consistency, particularly in games that put heavy pressure on both the CPU and GPU. Definitely worth trying! Fix 3. Disable Game DVR Using the Registry Editor Game DVR is a built-in Windows feature designed to let you record gameplay in the background. But if you're not using it, it can actually hurt your performance. Even when you're not actively recording, it may still be running in the background, taking up CPU cycles and memory. To fully turn it off, you'll need to make a couple of quick changes in the Windows registry press Windows plus R, type Regedit, and hit Enter to open the registry editor. In the registry editor, navigate to this location. Look for an entry called Game DVR underscore enabled. Double click it and set the value to zero. This disables Game DVR for your user profile. Next, we'll disable it on a system wide level. Go to Find the entry named value, then double click it and set it to zero as well. That's it. Now just close the registry editor and restart your PC to make sure the changes take effect. Disabling Game DVR can help reduce background processing and improve responsiveness, especially on systems with limited CPU or memory resources. It won't magically double your FPS, but it can help eliminate random stutters and input delay, especially in competitive games. Fix 4. Disable High Precision Event Timer, HPET. HPET, or High Precision Event Timer, is a legacy hardware timer built into most motherboards. It was originally designed to improve timing accuracy in Windows and other operating systems. But on some older systems, it's been linked to input lag and micro-stuttering in games, especially when combined with certain BIOS or driver configurations. If you're on an older PC, or using an older CPU-slash-motherboard combo, disabling HPET 
might help smooth out performance or reduce latency. However, on modern hardware, especially newer Intel and AMD platforms, HPET is either not used at all or already optimized, so this tweak may have no effect or might even slightly hurt performance. That said, here's how to disable it safely. Open Device Manager. Just right-click the Start button and select it from the list. Scroll down and expand System Devices. Look for a device called High Precision Event Timer. If you see it, right-click and select Disable Device. Finally, restart your PC to apply the change. Note, not every system shows HPET in Device Manager. If you don't see it listed, it's likely your system isn't using it, and you can safely skip this step. Disabling HPET won't give everyone a benefit, but for users with older or mid-range systems experiencing strange latency or timing issues, it's a quick thing to try. Just remember, don't expect a big FPS boost, especially if you're on newer hardware where HPET is mostly irrelevant. Fix 5. Disable unnecessary startup apps. One of the easiest ways to boost performance, especially on older or mid-range systems, is by reducing the number of apps that launch when your PC starts. These startup apps quietly run in the background, eating up RAM and CPU cycles before you even open a game. Over time, more and more programs can sneak into your startup list, including update checkers, launchers, cloud sync tools, and other unnecessary utilities. Here's how to clean them up. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC to open Task Manager. Click the Startup tab at the top. Review the list of apps. For each one, ask yourself, do I really need this to run every time my PC boots up? To disable one, just right-click it and choose Disable. Be careful not to disable essential items, like your antivirus, audio drivers, or anything from your GPU brand, NVIDIA, AMD. But feel free to disable things like Spotify, Discord, OneDrive, if not used, or software updaters. Once cleaned up, you'll likely notice faster boot times, less memory usage, and smoother gaming, especially in titles that are sensitive to background processes or memory pressure. Disabling startup bloat is a quick win and helps ensure your system is focused on running your game, not updating a PDF reader in the background. Fix 6. Additional tips for stability and FPS keep drivers up to date. Outdated graphics drivers can be a major cause of stuttering Use a debloated driver install, like NV CleanStall or similar tools for AMD slash Intel. Limit overlays. Disable overlays from apps like Discord, NVIDIA GeForce Experience, Steam, or Xbox Game Bar. Reduce in-game settings, especially settings like shadows, reflections, and post-processing. Thermal monitoring. If your CPU or GPU is overheating, thermal throttling can cause severe stuttering. These are some of the best general system tweaks that have helped many gamers get smoother gameplay. Again, every system is different, so your experience may differ. It's a good idea to make small changes one at a time. If any of these fixes helped you, let me know in the comments. If you have specific games you'd like me to cover or look into for optimization tips, drop those too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay smooth. Stay stable and game on.